Hi everybody! Um, it is Friday. As you can see, I still have Halloween decorations up because every time I go and start to think about putting them away, I like rickroll myself and tell, well, I rickroll them and say, I'm never going to give you up and they're going to let you down. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they're still up. I, I don't know. I'm not even really sorry about it. Everybody else has their Christmas decorations up. I feel like I can keep my Halloween decorations up. Okay, so Monday is my birthday. It is Friday today. I thought I'd do a quick Friday read. I promise it'll be a quick Friday read since the last Friday reads lasted three days. I'll do that that time. Um, like I said, my birthday is on Monday. My parents and my baby sister are coming into town for a little bit this weekend. We're going to have fake Thanksgiving on Sunday. And um, I took Monday off for my birthday. So... Yeah. Oh, I wanted to show you some, like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I wanted to show you some of my birthday presents that I've already gotten. So these are sloth earrings. They're super cute. Uh, that Karen got me. And uh, she wanted to give me these this, like, really cool stacked sloth ring, but it was sold out. Then Catherine got me. She gave it to me this morning at work before we opened some wine. It's claret and I've never had claret but it seems really fancy because they drink it in a lot of historical <laughs> Regency stories and stuff like that. Uh, Brenda got me a red velvet cupcake from the Cake Lady Bakery in Friendswood and she colored me a coloring page. Um, this is the coloring page that I ha I gave out at my story time today but she colored it. And uh, so it's from the movie Home, which is based on the true meaning of Smek Day, which is one of my favorite middle grade books that Brenda, I made Brenda read and she also loves. Uh, and so she colored <laughs> Gratuity Tip Tucci as me, and she colored JLo or O in the movie um, as herself, <laughs> which is pretty hilarious. So this is going to go in my fridge forever. Okay, so let's talk about the books that I'm reading this weekend and that I've been reading this week. I, um, I'm i still reading The Beast is an Animal. I am, I'm a little more than halfway through now. And oh my gosh, something just happened to Alice or something is about to happen to Alice and I can't do anything to help her. And it is really trusting me out. You don't know anything about this book yet because I have not talked about it and it's not out. But rest assured, it's really stressing me out right now. Thanks, Peter Now, Thanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's just, mm -hmm. I needed that in my life. I'm just kidding, I'm really loving it. And Peter Nell is going to come to Texas in April. She'll be at TLA and I cannot wait. Okay, I am also, I'm rereading Pride and Prejudice because uh, I'm Christina and I'm always rereading Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> but also because it uh, is related to my uh, NaNoWriMo novel, but I'm not very far into it right now. So there's that. I am, um, sorry for that camera work. If Lisa was making this, she would edit this part out, but I'm just going to upload this straight to YouTube. So it's just going to happen this way. Um, on my audiobook, I'm reading the first Tommy and Tuppence book uh, by Agatha Christie, and I cannot think of the name of it, and I can't find it for you because it is on my phone, and we are recording on my phone. Uh, but it's very good. I I can't believe I hadn't read it, read them before. I guess I'm like a huge Poirot fan. I went through a big stage in my life where I, was, I read a lot of Agatha Christie, and so I might have read Tommy and Tuppence, but I've read so many that I can't keep track of them anymore, and I, I like kind of forgot what was what and who was who, except for my boy Poirot. Um, I am also listening to uh, The Beekeeper's Apprentice for one of my Twitter book clubs, and it is wonderful. I have never listened to the audiobook of this series before, and it's one of my favorite series ever. I will be talking more about that later. I just started, and this is probably the last book that I'll be reading this weekend, uh, Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Nivens. The um, 
on the Twitter, there's a Twitter chat that happens, I think weekly. We had an extra one this week. Um, you can follow it when it happens. Uh, it's hashtag feminism and YA. And their, one of their guests this week was Jennifer Nivens, and they were talking about this book. And I wanted to take part in the discussion, but I hadn't read the book. And so I went and grabbed it off the shelf, and I started reading it today. I'm about 100 pages into it, and it is so fabulous so far. I've already taken at least one picture of some quotes uh, or a passage from it and posted it because one of the characters, Libby, she's kind of my hero. It's about a girl named Libby who is starting her first day of high school as a junior. And she is, or she was formerly known as the fattest teen in America. She weighed over 600 pounds and she had to be rescued from her house and part of her house was demolished to get her out of it. Uh, but since then, she's lost over 300 pounds and um, she is much healthier and she's, oh, there's Leo. Uh, is, <laughs> She's going to start her life as a high school student, which obviously, oh, I hope she doesn't knock anything over, um, is causing her a lot of anxiety because just regular high school for somebody who's not struggling with things like this is very stressful. But add on top of that, the notoriety of being in the news because you're America's fattest teen can't help. And then there's also Jack, um, who has, I don't remember what it's called, but a disorder that causes him to not be able to recognize people's faces. Anybody. His mom, his dad, his brothers, uh, his best friends, his on and off again girlfriend. He has to use identifiers like their hair or how they are talking um, or how they're referring to him to figure out who they are. Which sounds like a terrifying life. Like I, mm, I can't even imagine the smarts and the mechanisms like the coping mechanisms you would have to have to have that and also keep it hidden because he keeps it hidden but something happens between the two of them that throws them together um in a not great way and i'm guessing hopefully that something good comes of it because she just punched him in the face get it libby uh so yeah those are the books that i'm reading i also have a tiny little book haul to talk about in the mail yesterday i got the newest in the manga classic series it's the Jane Eyre. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I also really love Jane Eyre. Basically, if your name's Jane, you're good in my book. So I'm excited about that. And I ordered the other day because it was one cent. Um, click. When We Knew We Were Feminists. Uh, it's a collection of essays um, written by women who, about the moment when it clicked for them and they realized that they were a feminist. So I'm really excited to read that too. Um, in other news, like I said, it's my birthday on Monday and I'm going to get my hair cut. I'm going to get all cut off. Look at these roots. They're, it's just, I'm tired of it being long. So it's going to be short again. Probably shorter than when I first started making these videos two years ago. So, wish me luck and I hope you have a fabulous Thanksgiving if I don't put a video up until then. And thank you for watching. Make sure you do all those nice things you can do on YouTube, like this video, comment below, and share wherever you share videos. Okay, bye.